I'm here today as a um, member of parliament that happens to be a very concerned citizen. Um, my wife has a very strong interest in um, GM uh, policy as well. And I think I should make the point that um, it is one of those uh, policy areas uh, that cuts across party lines. But I can uh, speak uh, as a member of the Liberal Party in saying that um, we support uh, the um, monitorium as it is now. Uh, and uh, <laughs> what's interesting is that um, uh, you know there are you know some farmers that, that believe some representing farming farming areas that have come back and said, look, um, you know I was a supporter of um, of GM, but I've been out there talking to my community, and there are some concerns. There are some concerns about what it will do to their markets, what it will do to their price, um, and what it will do for their for their futures. So we are uh, the debate is. Um, Turning, and I think the longer we can remain as a non-GM state, the less likely it is that we will move to GM because there will be more and more examples brought to us as to why there are huge market advantages uh, in um, being a non-GM food producer here in South Australia. People don't need to give us a reason as to why they don't want to eat GM food. That's no, one, no one's business, but they need to know what it is that they're eating. And that's my argument as to why we need to ensure that um, we have clear and concise labelling. Because the market will determine, the market will determine uh, that people don't want GM products. So um, I say, uh, why on earth would we want to move in uh, and offer the same product that everybody else is offering when we're in a distinct advantage uh, to uh, offer a, um, a unique product here in South Australia?